What's up, my people? Willie, the tech guy here. And you know, uh, in part of the line of the trade that I do, I get to review a lot of phones. And that means once in a while changing your main SIM card or your daily driver, you know, from this phone to that phone so that you can be able to get the best of the best in terms of review and your personal experience that are, we're able to compile that in a video and do that for you and bring it to you. And in this line of work, there are quite a number of phones that you come, come through. Some of them are amazing. You know, some of them, you know, you just review and, 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 and you, you pass on the review. But there are phones that you review and you also fall in love with them. And today I want to tell you about such kind of a phone. That is the Oppo Reno 5. I've been using the Oppo Reno 5 ideally since launch or even way before launch. And uh, I've used this phone for such a long time. I've used it as my daily driver. I've kept it also as one of the phones that I use. And I just wanted to give you a lowdown about how this phone runs six months down the line, my experiences about this, and to also tell you whether it's still a worthwhile phone to buy right now. So this is the Oppo Reno 5 six months review, six months down the line. I've been enjoying this phone all the way from, from uh, February. I've loved every element of this phone. And till date, one of the things that I love about the Oppo Reno 5 is the display. You have a gorgeous display. And I still can't get over the fact that, you know, they, they, they dumped the, the dual punch hole selfie. That, that was something I loved about the Reno 4. But the Reno 5, they went over to the single uh, punch out. And that, that, that gives you just more screen real estate. But one of the things about this phone that I love is that it is a very bright display. We are talking about up to 600 nits of peak brightness. So if you're using the phone out in the sun, you know, you're scrolling through your, your feeds, you're doing all that, you're able to, you, to see things very, very well. So if you're out in the sun, you know, there are phones when you're outside, you're not able to see what you're interacting with because it can't go really bright. But with the Oppo Reno 5, it goes really bright out in the sun. So you're able to use it in a day-to-day -day basis. Not only that, but with the Oppo Reno 5, they introduced 90 hertz of screen refresh rate. And I will say this and I will say it all over again. Once you, enjoy, you begin to enjoy faster refresh rates, you will never want to go back. This phone gives you 60 hertz or 90 hertz, whichever is your preference. With 60 hertz, you get to save a bit more battery. But with 90 hertz, the difference is a bit negligible. So if you're the kind of a guy who loves fast animations, faster scrolling, you know, faster experiences, this is something that you will totally love. Remember, it's a full HD plus display. That means it's 1080 by 2400 pixels. It's 6.4 inches. So it's not your big phone. Neither is it your small phone. It's just the right perfect size. So anything around 6.4, 6.5 is good for those who don't love magnanimous phones. Uh, you know, the 6.9 inches there and, and good for people who don't love the small phone. So you have just the kind right of screen real estate to work with. And this phone comes with Corning's Gorilla Glass 3. And let me say something about that. I've been using my phone since launch without a screen protector. And this is six months down the line. I don't have scratches. I don't have breaks. You know, I ideally have been able to enjoy my phone. You know, many times I want to run for the, for the screen protector. It's something good. It's a nice addition. You know, it saves you the hectic of, you know, what happens if my screen scratch uh, or falls and breaks. But let me tell you, uh, I've been using mine without a screen protector. Uh, actually, it still has the, the pl plastic uh, protector that it came with when when you ideally buy it and that's what i've been having it and it's use it daily and it's been good no scratches no dents no nothing so i like the fact that it's a phone that you can use daily even without your screen protector and you get to enjoy all that amazing nice real estate when you also look at the display there is something i love uh, in the settings in the software that you're able to look at there's something you know we call uh, I, I don't um it's it's a uh, it uses the camera to sense if you're looking at the screen so that if you're using your phone, uh, it does not go off. 
so that you know at times maybe you're you're, you're brainstorming you're writing something you know you're, you're trying to come up with an idea and you're looking at the phone and you don't want it to go off so as long as you're using the phone or you're taking notes or something like that as long as your eyes are on the phone the phone detects that and it avoids going into sleep and switching off so that you're able to have your phone ready on the go if you are typing notes and you know if you're thinking about something and these are some of the things uh, that are embedded in the ui and make the experience of the display of the oppo reno 5 something very amazing now remember the phone is still powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 720g processor it's an 8 nanometer processor so it gives you great amazing performance uh the the the, the system updates well uh they can oppo can do better but i i think ideally you know they've, they've been quick with their their quarterly system updates and they're able to keep the phone in check one of the things i loved about the most recent update is that it gave us the ability to have what we call ram expansion now out of the box the oppo reno 5 comes with 8 gb of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage now 8 gb is good enough for most people but for super users like me at times i find a bit i i i task my phone to the extreme so you can find it a bit sloppy but with the ram expansion that gives you the ability to increase your ram either by 2 gb 3 gb or up to 5 gb ideally now i have a phone that is 8 gb out of the box but plus 5 gb which means i literally have a 13 gb ram phone and that has taken my experience to the next level now gone are the days where you know i could, I could open apps keep them in in in, uh, in the app memory and go back and, and find that that app has shut down now i can go back to exactly where i was and that's one of the amazing things that has happened with the latest software update that gives you the ability to expand your ram so this is something that i love that you know in as much as it was a good phone have made it a bit better with those kinds of updates one other interesting thing that has also improved with the software updates is the camera experience out the box it comes with a 64 megapixel main camera that gives you amazing photo fo photos you know you have that amazing portrait if you're taking portrait shots you have that amazing landscape if you're taking lands la la landscape shots and it gives you that extra boost in terms of megapixels ideally from default it takes 12 megapixels but you can be able to turn on the 64 megapixel mode which gives you brilliant high resolution images it also has the 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 megapixel macro camera and the 2 megapixel depth camera now this phone comes with quite a lot of camera features you, know, you have your ai video you have your dual video you have all these amazing things that are that are embedded in the camera interface that help you get all that amazing things in terms of camera now most of us don't get to use all those features daily but the features that we get to use daily ideally chuck your phone out of your pocket go into camera mode snap that picture it gives you amazing pictures and with the software updates the camera mode or the night mode of the camera has become way much better so not only do i now enjoy taking photos during the day i also enjoy taking photos in low light conditions and even at night because the overall experience has become greater with software updates and the camera is really capable so when you go out at night and you're taking photos they really are very crisp i'm gonna uh just attach some of the pictures that i've taken at night with the oppo reno 5 let me tell you there are quite some interesting kinds of pictures and so the night mode experience in the camera department has become amazing and not only that but even the overall camera experience is good takes high resolution images they're really crisp they're really sharp when you go over to portrait uh selfies the edge detection is has has become better so you're able to have that kind of what we call that bokeh mode where you are in focus if you're taking a, a, a picture of a, of a being or you're taking a selfie of yourself you're in focus and it kind of blurs out your background that's something that has become better with updates it was good but it became better with the updates. so 
The display is one of the things I love and totally love about the Oppo Reno 5. The camera experience, you know, that amazing 64 megapixel camera gives you amazing shots. Even your ultra wides are amazing. And, and, and this is something you will love. You no, know, I love Oppo because their, 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 their cameras are, are, rather their photos are very nice. And if you go ahead and, and edit them, they become way much better. This phone is really capable. And not only do I love just the display and the camera, one of the things I totally fell in love with from the word go with the Oppo Reno 5 has been the battery and its charging. So it comes with a pretty decent battery. That's a 4,000 milliampere battery. It's actually a 4,310 milliampere battery, but it charges. It comes with a whooping 50 watt power brick. So this thing juices up in around 40 to 45 minutes. And let me tell you, there's nothing I love as that, that I can wake up in the morning, my phone is at maybe one or two or 3% and I just juice it up at night and it, by the time I'm done showering, taking breakfast, the phone is ready to go at 100%. Not 60, not 70, not 80, but at 100%. So if, if battery and charge, if, man, I tell you, if battery and charging were the only things that came with this phone, I'd totally still fall in love with. But it's not just about the battery and the charging. Remember I said it has a nice display. It has also a nice camera. But, oh man, the battery and charging are amazing. And you see, some other things that you can also get in the UI are what we call optimized night charging. Now, the phone uses its AI you know, and computational uh, mathematics inside the, the, the chip and the phone itself to dictate when you plug it in at night and it charges slowly, very slowly through the entire night. And as you, as you draw closer to your morning, when you intend to uh, wake up and get your phone, it, it charges to the rest and, and gets to 100. But let me tell you, with a phone that charges this fast, you know, 40 to, 40 to 45 minutes, I'd still pick charging it in the morning over than charging it in the night. Ideally, it's not, it's not good for your phone to spend time uh, charging the whole time. It's just good that you're able to get it immediately when you need it. So battery and charging are some of the things that I've totally loved on the Oppo Reno 5. Hi, I'm going to